So now I got to get a light up under here. Under this, I think it's a sheet of plywood, or I don't know what it is, a couple boards and then a sheet of plywood on top. And I put a light under this side, and there was two by fours that I could actually suspend zip ties from. Um, I don't have that here. So I'm gonna have to try something else. This is the light, it's Hyder. They had a sale, uh, buy two, what was it, uh, buy one, get one. So 50% off, so it was that's what they call it, 50% off. So it's essentially buy one, get one. And this is the model number. And it's 24-7 Aquarium Extendable LED Light, HG089-26W, 26 watts. Um, and it's RGB. And it's 1,745 lumens, and you can read this for yourself. And it's for 32 to 37 inch tank, so a 36 inch tank, 40 breeder, 36 inch tank. And uh, for 82 to 95 centimeter tanks. Okay, yeah. All right, since we're not dealing with centimeters, it's, uh, but that's what that transitions to. Um, okay. So now I gotta figure out a way to mount this sucker. All right, so let's pull this sucker out. So I just opened the end and I thought, you know, I should really do an unboxing while I'm at it here. Let's see how this is. And again, I, uh, I bought two because they were half off with a code that um, I think her name's Nicole from Hygrid posted on her um, Instagram page. And there it is, it's all coming out the end. Okay, so what do we got? We got a light. We've got a, a controller. Let's get that into uh, into range here. Uh, plus R, minus R, plus G, minus G, plus B, minus B, plus and minus, 24-7. And you know what? I'm going to have to read the instructions. And this goes into the wall ward. The, the what is it? The 110 volt adapter. So let's find that. This was a stop. There's probably one on the other end. Okay. And here. Is the wall wart. So just for the heck of it, I guess we can plug it in. They're pretty easy as far as that goes. And I've got an extension cord right here. See what that does. If it's on, it'll blind me. Or not, okay, because it's LED. Uh, on. Whoa, that's the reds. Minus red. Um, that's, yeah. Not a clue. Oh. All right, so we're going to have to do some uh, um, some instruction reading to figure out how this is going to work. So anyway, that's what it looks like inside the box. Um, let's see how long it actually is. Handy tape measure. And it's uh, just short of 32 inches. Uh, the body itself is uh, 31 and a half from end to end. 31 and a half inches. All right. So we'll, uh, here's the, uh, there's a pair of these mounting brackets. Uh, I may or may not use these. I think what I'm going to try and do, and I may, I could even use them upside down theoretically uh, to hang zip ties uh, so I can suspend that thing. So that may be what I'm going to do here. This is the light I'm going to use over this 40 breeder up underneath there, underneath this shelf that uh, this this tank's on, this other 40 breeder. So there it is. I put the two mounting brackets on upside down. Normally they would be reversed and setting on top of the tank. I took a couple of uh, little cup holders that we bought a couple years ago to put in the eaves for the Christmas lights. Uh, there is a hole right there that I will run uh, the power end of wherever that is, this, um, up through that into uh, 
plug box I got up there. And then I'll leave the control down here somewhere. Maybe run it over to the side here. Um, then all I gotta do is put the tank back in and I take that back. That's not all I gotta do. I figured out, I gotta learn how to use this thing. Read the instructions. I know it's, you know, not something that's fun, but I'm gonna have to do it because this is, uh, seems to be way smarter than I am. So here we go. So I'm gonna put the tank back in its place and then we'll move on. I wanna get this tank. It's been sitting here for, gosh, I don't know, two months after I built this shelf and, you know, and, and put this all back together. It's all part of the earl earlier part of this video. Um, and, and so I'll, I'll put the tank back in and then uh, I think what I'm going to do, I was going to use this as like a farm tank and I think I will to some extent grow plants in here, but I'm also going to expand my Blue Dream Neocaridina colony. All right, so after going through the manual, see if we can remember some of this. It would appear, here we are. That's a simple on off switch. It said press on, press off. So let's see if it presses off. There it goes, it's off. All right, and press on and back on. Uh, and then the blue plus minus is intensity. So it, every time you push it, it increases 5% in intes intensity or decreases 5% in intensity. So if you hold it down, it should go all the way to 100%. And, and I guess it is the lights flashing. I'm gonna hold this up here. And then the light will go out when it's there. Yeah, at least I think it did. There it goes and it flashes. So now it's, yeah, all right, now it's full, light, full intensity and reverse uh, with the minus, okay? Uh, the 24 seven, yeah, that's the, that does the uh, ramp up, ramp down. And it seems like there's also a, uh, you know, like the blue light night mode, which I wanna see if I can figure out a way to get rid of that. Uh, I think you push the DIY and then you can uh, change the colors up or down on the reds, up or down on the greens, up or down on the blues. Uh, and then the timer it goes uh, six hours, eight hours. Is that what it is? Six hours, eight hours, 12 hours? I think that's what it is. Um, let me double check that. And all in all, I mean, it seems pretty cool. It's bright under there. I don't think I need it quite that bright. I'm going to probably, I had it a little lower. Um, and I will probably bring it back a little lower. And let's see where the yeah, the sunrise sunset modes, the 24 seven. Um, yeah, and then if you press press uh, the M, you will cycle through uh, colors. Let's do that, there's the M button. So it'll, it'll here, well, let me read them to you first. So see what we're going through. So, Let's see, it'll cycle through, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Uh, it'll go from, uh, and that's where it is now, fish light mode, aquatic plant mode, ocean blue light mode, white, red, orange, green, blue, purple, color changing loop, which seems like party mode. If the fish wanna throw a party, then you probably wanna go into the color changing mode. So let's do that. Just for you know what's and giggles, right? So we're pushing the M button. Okay, so that's, uh, well, that's blue. I think I might've had it on, on the next setting. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna start this over. And we shall, hang on just a minute. Let me get the notes in front of me here so I can read them as I'm doing it. So I think this is white. Now, fish light mode, all right. So, oh, that's definitely red. So we can start there, uh, then orange and then uh, green, yeah, blue, pretty, purple, yeah, it's more magenta, but okay, <laughs> kidding, and then color changing mode, we'll just leave it right there for a minute, and it should start changing colors on us, um, and I guess this is fish party mode, and yeah, I don't really want to wait for, uh, there it goes, red, I don't know how, how long it takes between modes, but I, I, if I'm waiting for it, I'm just be bored to tears. 
that looks like maybe it's moving into orange. I'm just gonna push it again. And that should take us back to fish light mode. And then one more is aquatic plant mode. So it's a little different color than the fish light mode. Unfortunately, you can't go backwards. You have to loop all the way through it. Uh, but anyway, that's kind of cool. So I will probably leave it at aquatic plant mode because I'm going to grow plants in here and I'm going to have fish in here. It should be fine for them. Uh, and and uh, like I said, uh, probably I'd like to populate this with uh, blue dream shrimp as well. Um, and I'm guessing they will all be fine. And the fish more than anything, I don't know what I'll put in here, but you know, if there's water sitting around for any length of time with no fish in it, we get mosquitoes even here in the garage. So, you know, there's going to be fish in it. Even if I just put, uh, I don't know, swordtails or, you know, I got a bunch of those and I got a bunch of, uh, uh, Mickey Mouse platies, uh, or maybe just go get something new. New's always good. So we'll see what we we'll see what they have at the local fish shop or at a, you know the big box it just depends on who I end up with first. But anyway, that's kind of it. So that's this Higer. Um, let's see the Higer uh, planted plus twenty four seven aquarium extendable LED light model number HG zero eight nine two six W. And uh, this by no means is sponsored. Nobody asked me to review this. Higer asked me to review a couple products and, and yeah, whatever. I don't think I'll be doing that again. Uh, they never reached back out to me, so I don't know if they liked what I did or not. Uh, but you can go check those out. In fact, I did a re-review. I did a review of this, uh, this Airstone uh, and within a couple weeks it stopped blowing bubbles. Uh, at somebody's suggestion, I soaked it in vinegar uh, to see if it will clear it out, and I haven't plugged it back in, so we shall see. Uh, but anyway, uh, and then I did uh, uh, their, their like tank maintenance kit. Um, but anyway, um, so I'll put this up, and part of this will also be in uh, this whole tank build. So you, you know, if you're watching this as just the unboxing, come and find the whole tank build, and that also includes repairing this uh, this post that was pulling apart, and I was waiting for the whole thing to end up on the floor. So anyway, as always. Thanks for looking.